School periods are determined based on a variety of factors aimed at optimizing learning and ensuring a balanced curriculum. Generally, the length and number of periods are determined by educational authorities, schools, and teachers. The primary objective is to allocate sufficient time for each subject, avoiding overburdening students and allowing for effective teaching. One crucial consideration for scheduling periods is the amount of content to be covered in a particular subject. For instance, subjects with extensive curriculum, such as mathematics or science, often have longer periods or multiple periods per week. This allows for in-depth understanding, practice, and review of complex concepts. Another factor taken into account is the chronological order of subjects throughout the day. This helps prevent cognitive overload by ensuring a mix of different subjects and allowing students to switch between different mental processes easily. For instance, a high concentration subject like mathematics might be followed by a more creative or physical activity. Additionally, schools strive to create balanced schedules to prevent fatigue and monotony. Regular breaks or recess periods are provided to improve focus and allow students to recharge. These periodic intervals also encourage socialization and physical activity, contributing to overall well-being. The scheduling of school periods involves a thoughtful approach to construct a timetable that maximizes learning outcomes. Various considerations, including subject demands, cognitive load, and breaks, play critical roles in determining the structure. By carefully managing these factors, schools aim to provide an environment conducive to effective learning and holistic development.